friends, welcome Regal Smith here. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a roller bottle and specifically a roller bottle to chill out and calm down. So you're gonna need an empty roller bottle, preferably with a metal roller. And you can get these if you're a doTERRA wholesale member in your back office, or uh, if you're not, I'll leave a link below for where you can purchase them on Amazon. You're going to need some good quality essential oils and some fractionated coconut oil uh, to use as a carrier. And optionally, some labels. So you can do make your own or labels. And I'll leave a link below where you can get these as well. So let's keep it super simple. Basically, roller bottles are for a desired aroma or for a desired therapeutic effect. They're super simple. I would recommend starting with three or so oils, three or four, um, that are either uplifting to you, calming to you, or have a desired therapeutic effect. I have a bunch of recipes on my website at blissmama.com, but today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a super simple one for chilling out. So we're gonna start with some frankincense oil, and frankincense is an incredible oil for grounding. So we're gonna just put about eight drops in here. So frankincense oil is actually the first documented form of medicine. It's a pretty powerful oil. It's great for skin, it's great for calming, it's great for feeling grounded when you feel a little bit scattered. Um, you can put a little bit around your eyes and kind of those fine line areas. And the aroma for most people is very soothing. Even people that have lower moods, uh, different things like that, it can be very, very soothing. So we're gonna use our frankincense. Next, we are going to use some wild orange. So we're gonna use about eight drops of wild orange. And all citrus oils are gonna be uplifting to the mood and cleansing to the environment. So this one to me, it kind of smells like, I don't know, kind of smells like liquid sunshine. So with the uh, earthy frankincense and that uplifting wild orange is this perfect combination. And now we're gonna add one more oil to kind of round it out. And this is Roman chamomile. Uh, this is an oil that's very soothing. We're gonna do about four drops. So we did eight of frankincense, eight of wild orange, and now we're gonna do four of Roman chamomile. And this is one that's kind of similar to lavender in its properties, but I would say even more soothing. So four drops. It's also one that's very safe to use with children. Uh, very, very soothing, great for diaper rash, great for sleep time, you can put it on the bottoms of your feet. And in this instance, it's great to help you chill out. Okay, so that's it. And now we're gonna top it with fractionated coconut oil. You can either pour it in, or if you have a nice little squirt top, you can add a squirt top. If you have a doTERRA account, you can uh, add this to your order, or I'm sure you can find these online as well. So we're just gonna fill up this roller bottle. We are gonna put on our top, preferably a metal roller. And then anytime you need to chill out, roll it on your wrists. If you can roll it on your hands, take a nice deep breath in. You can put it on the back of your neck, on your temples. You can use this on little ones and anybody who needs to calm down. You can also put it on the bottoms of your feet before bed. It's a nice relaxing blend, and it has that beautiful, bright, uplifting aroma with that grounding earthy with the frankincense. Okay, and now if you'd like to put labels on, you can use these cute little stickers. I'll leave a link for where you can get these on Amazon or from your doTERRA wholesale account. And the way I use these is I just take the oils that I put in there. So we're gonna take three stickers, we're gonna put frankincense, we're gonna put wild orange, and this way you can remember what's in your blend too, and Roman chamomile. So I just stick them on in order, kind of like this, and that way you can kind of remember what's in them. And then here's my little hack. If you're using stickers like this, I like to put just a little piece of packing tape on and it makes the labels so they don't rub off, they don't smudge, they don't move around. And then you just put it on and you're all set. So you know what's in your blend, it's on there, it's not gonna come off even if this gets wet 
Or if you prefer, I'll leave a link for waterproof labels. You can make your own and you can just write the words chill out or whatever you want, make it super pretty, uh, but enjoy. Have fun. If you want more recipes, be sure to head over to blissmama.com. We'll see you next time. Bye everyone.